Bandit here today. Uh, what I'm going to be going over with you guys is a move of mine called Rhythmic. Now this move is a really interesting move for me just because of the different offsetting rhythm it has. Like the beginning of the flourish is quite slow and then you have it speed up at the end. And that's sort of where the name came from because you have like this slow start with this speedy ending and it had a neat interesting feel to it and rhythm. Um, there's not a whole lot of new concepts in this flourish. Um, I really like the fact that you start out in like this cross like display and then you end up sliding the packets against each other and moving them back into like your regular uh, civil cut position. Um, and from there you do the faster portion of the cut. So I just really enjoyed uh, the way that the move flowed and how it worked. And I hope you enjoyed as well. Um, thank you for tuning in and wanting to learn this flourish. Let's get into it. So to start with the opener, what you're first going to do is start into a straddle grip position. You're then going to bring your thumb in behind and your index finger in front. You're going to break off at the back with your thumb. And then you're going to break off at the front with the index finger of the overhead hand, getting into your basic Z grip position. From here, you're going to take your thumb, bring it alongside your other thumb, and you're going to break off another packet getting into a sort of a scissor cut position as you extend it outward. So you're breaking off that from the center packet, extending outward, and that's going to be your opener for the cut. Having completed the opener of the cut, you're now going to get into the mid section of it. From here, you're going to take your middle finger, place it slightly over the front of that top packet, and your index finger comes in behind. You're going to pinch that packet with the index finger and the middle finger and you're going to then slide that packet forward by extending your middle finger and your index finger at the same time, sliding it forward until it contacts the index finger of the deck hand. You're then going to rotate the overhead hand out a little bit as well as extending the thumb of the deck hand so you sort of get this cross-like display that's fully extended outward. From here, you're going to get into a more complicated position where you extend the index finger of the deck hand slightly and push forward with the thumb so that that packet contacts the top packet and you slide it backward until it contacts the thumb of the overhead hand. So you're in this position now, which I'll ha explain a little bit further via front view. So just quickly from the front, once you're in the cross position, you're going to see the index finger extend outward so it straightens up. The thumb pushing that packet over top of the index finger, contacting the top packet, and pushing it until all those packets hit the back of the thumb. So from this position where you've got all three packets contacting the thumb, you're then going to adjust the top packet grip with your ring finger coming along the corner. And from this position, your index finger and your middle finger are going to press along the corner of that top packet. It breaks off from the thumb and the corner sort of gets pushed into the pocket of the hand or the crotch of the thumb. So you're going to see the two fingers push that top packet, sliding it along the packet that's underneath it into the, um, the crotch of the thumb being supported by that ring finger there. So I'm going to show you from the front to sort of give you a better view of what happens at this point and how that sliding motion works. From the front you see the ring finger contact the corner, the index finger and the middle finger push along that corner, breaking the back part of that packet up off the thumb so it rotates slightly into the, the crotch of the thumb, so the long edge rotates into the crotch of the thumb there, and the corner clears the back part of the thumb or the hand, and you slide it along the packet that's next to it, bringing it into the, the crotch of the thumb. All right, and so from this position, we're actually gonna go into the closer. So you're gonna lift up slightly, curl in your ring finger of your deck hand, and you're gonna place that third packet on top of the ring finger clipping it then between the pinky ring and middle finger, extending it outward. Your middle finger comes on top of the second packet, pinching it between the thumb and the middle finger, 
and you're going to twist your wrist turning those two packets face up. You're then going to curl in the clipped packet after twisting your wrist face up so that hard that packet falls face down on top of that second face up packet. You're going to slide that packet out from underneath and you're going to turn your wrist back over so the card falls on top or like that packet falls on top. Your thumb and your middle finger are going to re-grip, gripping the whole deck, pinching it at the short edge. You're going to rotate it around over top of the thumb. So you've gripped it between your middle finger and your thumb. You twist your wrist, rotating that packet over top of the thumb of the deck hand into the crotch of the thumb, gripping it between the thumb and the index finger now. That packet falls into a mechanics grip on top of that other face up packet. At this point that packet gets flipped up and rotated on top of the deck. And there you have it. That's pretty much the whole cut at this point. Uh, you're just going to have to do it slowly to sort of figure it out and we're going to get into a slow motion to sort of give you a slower overview of the whole thing. say thank you for your interest in the flourish and your interest in learning it. Um, I wanted to say thank you for sticking it out to this part of the video and for all your support. If, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that at all, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. Other than that, thank you again and I will catch you in the next one. God bless. <laughs>